long haul aircraft. I mean, the Gulf carriers have ordered most of the long haul aircraft deliveries for about the next five years out to 2020. So there's no availability of aircraft and prices are high. And that's never a time. So we've effectively postponed any transatlantic plans, I think, for at least five years. We've ordered another 350 aircraft, which means Ryanair will grow from about 90 million passengers last year to about 180 million passengers annually over the next eight years. And I would like to see some 10 million of that traffic being allocated here to Ireland, but only if there's low cost runway developed here. If we had been allowed to buy Aer Lingus on the three times we offered previously, we would probably have doubled Aer Lingus's transatlantic services by now. We'd certainly have doubled its traffic numbers. I mean, Aer Lingus only does about 10 million passengers a year. We now do that in a month. And Aer Lingus, it, it, I mean, it's a good airline. It does what it does, but it has no growth plans of any significance. IAG have now bought it. And if you weren't going to allow Ryanair to buy Aer Lingus and grow it, then IAG were probably the next best. But IAG will grow the transatlantic reasonably slowly, uh, two or three additional routes a year. There's nothing happening on the short haul because they can't compete with us on price. The moment we can't get